tired man. Alright, what have I got to do? Alright. Run. Talk to Sir so Robard. Okay. Have you got Hercules in his diet Fuckin yet? Fucking hell, I'm dying. I need food. Shit. Huh? What'd you say? Did you get the skill book in the uh, first place? No. Perfect. Yeah, why would I know any of that stuff, Big? That'd be a good little thing for me. It You've done be. well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. As soon as my guy learns how to you read. Must be all done in. <laughs> why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Oh, God damn it, my stomach hurts. I heard about your father. They say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside to make horseshoes. How did he get killed there? <laughs> I'm oh sure he had reasons. He had a fine reputation. They're feeding me. Ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Tomberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojana here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear, aren't you, young master? And I got worms. Here you are then. <laughs> Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Oh, thank you, my lady. You're really spoiling me. When you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms and the other babies. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Oh. Oh. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Yes, yes, thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. I can't even beat the three fucking guards now. <laughs> He's tilt! Courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. This is a game, mate. I'm not taking my boots off to go to bed. <laughs> That's time for him being like, make sure you take your boots off before you go to bed. I am dying of starvation. Eat <laughs> eat up quick. How do I eat it? Oh shit. Where is it? How? Go, 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 go. That's what I just made. Eat that. How are we feeling? I need more. Eat, eat, eat. <laughs> Why, I'm a fat bastard. All the cheese as well. Anymore, but I mean, there's roast duck. Can't say no to roast mm. duck. Was that you yawning or was that him? Right, am I hungry? Like, will it go off? I'll keep that with me just in case. Oh shit, I'm gonna fall asleep. What do you mean you're gonna fall asleep? <laughs> So difficult. I don't remember it being this difficult. Why? Why can't <laughs> I? <laughs> oh, this is class. Again? Shall I just go to sleep in? 
I thought you could just whistle. <laughs> whistle. Right, this has got a lot easier again. This can't be the place. It must be in here. And I've just realised how to gallop instead of trot. Okay. Oh shit, I'm in a private area. Sorry. <laughs> ah, sit down. Fly like the wind, sea biscuit. <laughs> and sleep. Oh, oh, save would be nice. Uh. Like what time? I wanna. Ah, I seem to have broken. Yes. Twelve hours sleep. I think I'll have. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh shit! Someone's about to wake me up, are they? Yeah, here we go. You made it? I think I am, yeah. Yes? I mean, the horse is a bit pissed off and it's starting to... Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy. Did I? Oh, I'm gonna die. My lady... Uh, um... No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? Come on, you can do it, horse. You could do with a little wine. Jesus. It's just what you need to help you sleep. I wonder if the horse will, like, throw me off. My lady, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I mean, come on. To, but to tell you the truth, I could Come on, I, it's in, I can see the castle. Don't let me down. One last, last push. Must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. Yeah! <laughs> Fucking made it. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. <laughs> Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. I'm getting mixed signals from this woman. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. I feel like she's hitting on me, but maybe she isn't. She was a royal dude. Get, get, get in your lane. Get in my lane! Just because I'm a peasant. Lane. I'll tell you the story. Right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. I went to the tavern to buy ale for father. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind, because my girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while, and we agreed to meet in the evening, but our meeting was never to happen. Oh, dear boy. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radziv. Mm, father took my life, he came to look at the sword. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzig himself came to have a look at it. He praised father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. A horde of soldiers was amassed. 
pennants flapped in the wind, the armor glinted in the sunlight, and the horses whinnied impatiently. Oh, the arrow's out at least. Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Scalit. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund's butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a, a knight in full armour, saw father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of human savages who planned to violate her. I wanted to help her. God knows I wanted to. Even though I had the sword we made for Sir Radzik, they had me outnumbered and they were well armed too. I only just managed to grab one of their horses and ride off. I couldn't help her any more than I could have helped my parents. It wasn't your fault. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors he went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Townberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Kurgislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old chamberlain. Okay, not a lot to do. Talk to Sir Robard. That's awful. I think my guy's drunk. I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom and only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Harville punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Townberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague. Yeah, my guy's definitely pissed. He was very busy. 
He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you are still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Sleep in the chamber. Where the fuck is the chamber? It took me ages to find it. Either here and not there. It's gonna be up here, isn't it? Way up top or something. Gave you like a little marker or something. That was hardcore mode. Was you know, I understand that. I know, but if you if it wasn't hardcore mode, you'd be able to see it. Where the fuck is the chamber? <laughs> anyway, wake up! You don't want to miss this. <sighs> what is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Scallops. Hide out somewhere until it blows over. Maybe. Backstabbing swine, maybe. Please be the third one. Heed my commands. Huzzah! Got it. Hey, you men down there. Tell the people outside the walls to prepare for attack. Quickly! Going What's on? going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmud in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalax. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts give his sense to Scalax to spy on Sigismund. Said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And so Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here. Won't we? Aye, we will. I'll be with you. and all his minions. Who else, Robert? Sir Adzig. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Radzik, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. 
Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it <laughs> to you? He's here with me. It's like a total thing he either, the story of the raid. Of like, and then there was Teresa, the mill wench. Even though there was three of them, and I only had Red Six Swords. I had to try and save her. I succeeded, <laughs> even though it nearly cost my life. <laughs> Fuck, you know, he's laying there on thick. <laughs> oh, you did just push him. <laughs> Didn't even push, I whistled. <laughs> How'd you whistle? X. Good to know. And I was having a nightmare. Without me, my man, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knees. I want to miss more. There's no point dying. Go to the battlements. God. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skellig. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the streets. I'll join Where you is he? Where's Captain Robard? Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Valdix. <laughs> I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people too. The cutscenes are really good on this. They are really good. Move really out. following the story is quite good. Men. Tonight we'll have triple patrol. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice... Or... What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch of the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I'll have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid! And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. I'll be with you. God be with you. What do you think about the flight of the Scarlet's folk? I'd say Sir Rodzik is a fine lord. He made the most of the situation and saved his subjects. You don't see that very often. He was lucky not to be storm -tailed. But that's just it. Something happens by chance and you turn it to your advantage. There's not many capable of thinking so fast. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. How the 
the hell do I wait? Ah, T. I don't know if I'm going to be good with a bow and arrow. Why? One of the things gives you um, the trembles, like an alcoholic. <laughs> like an alcoholic. Keep watch where. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Classic one, my hope. Throw away the only ran the chance. He pushed the shit button and the joint. Where? Where on the button? That's the bastard who led the attack at Scarlet's and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. He don't want to end up like them. I am Sir Mark Bart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt concord in the land and to How do you, um, in the name of his brother, King Venceslaus the Fourth. I. I is it? No, it's not. Burning it and is. pillaging the king's estates. No, Greetings, Sir Mark Bart. Oh, yeah, I the efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king. And here in Talmberg, Fucking hell, something's happening. peace reigned until <laughs> your arrival. To what, then, do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom. The Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talmberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king, then, that Sir Radzik Kobila is not at Talmberg, and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this when there's little cause for joy farewell sir auf wiedersehen <laughs> let me go for a smoke while this plays out
lord, you have my utmost word. Get on with your reward. This guy I need to speak to. Hey, Jesus Christ be praised. <laughs> Jesus Christ be praised. <sighs> so, Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, <laughs> deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. The robot, my parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by beasts. <coughs> what would you do in my place? Sorry, lad, but I won't take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down, and maybe your lord will change his mind. Bastard. I failed my persuasion. Damn it. Ah, you shit. <laughs> what um, starting points did you choose, Big? Strength, agility, speech? Vitality? Oh, I don't know. Um, I was doing it like a story. Like, it was a story, wasn't it? Yeah. So I can't right. remember. I wasn't actually doing it for the, the skill points. Whatever sounded cool. Fair enough. I think I was speaking to someone at the tavern. Okay. And I can't remember the second one. I went working in the blacksmith and then learning archery for mine. What does that get you? Uh, blacksmith is strength, archery was agility. Fair enough. I know I went for speaking to the tavern, but I don't know the other one. Because I feel like learning archery is something I would do. <laughs> so I kind of role played it a bit. Until you realize that you're a drunken mess. Yep. <laughs> Bury your loved ones, get a horse, get out of the castle. Okay, so I know... I might go somewhere, I've got an idea. Okay, I've got to get out of this place. Lockpicks. Yes, I got one lockpick. Okay. Oh. Rob, steal. Do I steal? Don't you know who I am? Huh? <sighs> you! What the hell are you falling about here for? Be off right now, or I'll fucking see you off. Fucking hell, mate. No need to get aggressive. What the fuck? Everything is steel, book. <laughs> yeah, you can't do anything. I gotta steal, do I? Jesus. Right, I'm gonna drink yeah. some snaps. Because, I mean... Can't be watching all those cutscenes again. Fuck that for a laugh. Fuck. Oh yeah, that's a good point actually. <laughs> Alright, here we go. 
This is this is not going to go down well. Where is Voltova? chest? Probably not. Can I do a very hard chest? Definitely not. Um, one lockpick. I've got to make this count somehow. This thing's very hard. I, I know one way of getting out if you want me to tell you, Big. I'm already out, Big. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Are you actually? I literally <laughs> just <laughs> fucking <laughs> ran for my life. <laughs> Not that I'm going the right way, but I mean... You got out of the, the place? Yeah. Was it hard? Was it supposed to be hard? I mean, it's not meant to be hard, but it's... Just trying to work out the map is the hardest part. No one's trying to kill me. Or chase me, though. I just fucking hurt myself. Yeah, I've hit my f two of my feet. Same. How do I know if I broke my legs or not? Is it like a a way to know? Because all I see is like these things at the bottom with like timers on them. Yeah, that's it. Once they go like full, broken them. Okay. Okay. So I still got a sword. I don't really have enough schnapps to be keep saving. <laughs> I'm worried, big. <coughs> Objective failed? Huh? Okay. Right, I'm nearly underweight. Underweight? What do you mean? Well, I'm overweight at the moment. I can't move. You're stealing everything, you? No, I knocked the guard out. Took all his shit. Took all his shit.
but no, I'm, I've got full body armor. Some other stuff. Move my way out of the place. Walk on past, nothing's happened. No need to worry about me, guys. I'm out. Look at the castle. Get the scallets. Where's Where's scallets? You all right? Answer to my prayer. Oh, oh, shit. Just when I wanted to bet my ring. Left. And I have a bow and arrow. Here we go. Uh, you know what? This cheeky thing isn't that bad. Ain't it? No, I, I reckon I can still shoot arrows. How did you get up then? Just jumped off the thing and ran. Yeah. Back in it. Fair enough. Can't read this map out though. Camp. Okay, I'm, I'm going the right way. Follow the river, I think. So I can turn left. Objective failed. <laughs> it's got to start all again now. Ah, you don't. I'm at, I'm at Scallops, I think. Where were you meant to get a horse to? I guess inside the castle. Just gotta steal it. I did see him, but I didn't think grabbing a horse and running like fuck would go down very well. Yeah, that's why, right, you know. They might actually want to kill me. I hope it lets me save. I hope it lets me save before there's a fight. Why? Because I didn't save it after the thing. I thought I'll be smart. I've only got like four saves left. <laughs> Trying to be smart. I can, I can save, okay. Getting a new level in drinking? Get in there. <laughs> Alcoholic. Someone I've got to be careful of. I reckon they'll be full of looters, right? Sneak around here. 
Sneak and sneak. Yes, I'm perfect so far. Nope, nope, it went bad, it went bad. There you go. Nice little save point there. Let's see what we got to do. Right, that's it. Yield. Yield, Yield, Yield you bitch. Uh, didn't kill him, did you? No. I mercy killed him. And that's a mercy killing boo. I, I broke his arm. Yeah, he was. He was. And then he surrendered. He was cowering, but there's no surrender. Oh, he did. I said he was cowering, but there's no surrender with me, big. Oh, fair enough. He's dead. He won't live another day. Right, so obviously my guy is shit at sneaking, so that won't happen again. Yeah. Okay, I got, I got the Wanderer pick. I have no idea how you got that. Built this big. I'm level 2 so I could uh, get more stuff. Oh, fuck you. Know. Okay, on the... Uh... Why is my... Really? Fuck's sake. Whoa, what does that mean? Food poisoning. <laughs> Like I'm just looting everyone that's dead. I know, I took some food. Like, at the start. Oh. I haven't been hungry in ages though, fair play. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same. But I've been topping up to be fair, like I'm overfed at the moment. How do you know if you're overfed? At the bottom of your screen is a picture of like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but how do you know that is overfed? The but like, is there like a uh, combat buffs? Here we go. That's how you know buffs. <coughs> you fat shit. I'm overloaded again.
to buy a sign with the bits to you. In the end, you were a hero. You didn't run away. You didn't abandon me like me. Why did you do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. You made it up to the I'm castle yet? Yeah, I'm in a cutscene. Oh. I'll never run away again. His face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find the shovel and, and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here, under the linden tree. Second bandit down. Here we go. For you. you must just found Bianca is she dead she is dead yeah so it didn't make a difference then what do you no, think I'm doing digging trenches ah oh. the beast just went for me did not mock the butchers and isn't that body the butchers yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing? What are you doing? So bury them and leave me be. You lend me that spade. I have to dig a grave and I cannot find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. 
I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it, anyway? Fine. I'll take the spade and you can have the sword. You can have it right up your ass. You think you can talk that way just because you've got a sword? Bullshit. I don't know much about sword fighting. Suits me. I'll knock your teeth in then. Shit, shit, shit! <laughs> That's right! Turn tail and run, you bastard! Find a speed. Can you hear a dog barking? Reeve Robin bastard. You lying little shit. I what? mean, you double standards or what? <laughs> what? You literally keep looting everyone you see and then you're like, you Grieve Robin bastard. I'm fucking straight. Double standards, hypocrite. Bullshit. Let's get to it. Have I disturbed your looting? <laughs> Take all that uh, money, money off you. <laughs> yeah, I'm overloaded again. How? <sighs> Drop the broken out. The cheap. How am I going to do this? If you need some help, is it? Drop. Yes. Can't you see the sword? Maneuverability. What do you want? Zbyshek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? Fucking hell. What? Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword. I might just let you go. Sean Big. If not, you're in I'm gonna get fucked up is what's about to happen. Leave me alone. Kill him, Rant. I cut the bastard down. I ain't gonna be able to beat this guy. 
Look at his Where do I? Like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! I don't want to gather now. Where do I fucking dig to? Here we go. Lasted all of a second. Dead are you? Didn't even get one hit off on him. I told you how it would end. You should have listened. Sorry, you're probably meant to lose that fight. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? And now. For the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, Ghostbusters! <laughs> the games are over. Fuck now, here we go. Well, I'm fighting Runt, whatever his name is. Good luck. Try and get one hit on him, big. Do it for me. <laughs> Tried to defend his first hit, and it just went bad from there. Yep, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> I, d I did get one hit, I think, on him, though. <laughs> Play. Story is amazing. He's already killed two people, but she'll go ahead.
Yeah. What? The woman I helped save brought the cavalry. Yeah. What? Why the fuck? Oh, come on. What's going on here? Some help. I'm guessing Henry didn't bury his parents then. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Uh, Teresa? Hmm. Just a bit of fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. <laughs> Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rote. I didn't know where else to go. Well, what happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz. You cast it off to now. To I thought they'd done for you, but you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name Who's did this you guy? go back there? It was madness. You slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents. I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. Fuck. But at least the fever's broken. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radzik he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. <coughs> what? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead. All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. The 
Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? Oh, as good as Call me an invalid. Me to the wheel <laughs> me on the town square. They do know you. <laughs> there. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If he'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hannish of Leipa. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know, Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you and for medicine. That's a good deal of coin you owe him. Ah, I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Yeah, food. So I have like a fresh bar. Health. first Eat. Eat. Oh my god death that's not that's not good Died? No, 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 I got food poisoning. Well, and it can kill you. No, no, we're just there's just a picture of death on my screen. That's all. I just got on bombs. Oh yeah, yeah. So I kind of shit myself. I thought I was gonna die. The tournament convened by Sir Hanouk takes place once every seven days at Rattay Upper Castle. The aim of the tourney is to test the skill and combatants with all kinds of weapons. Ah, so this is what you were talking about. The tournament is a big. That's what I was on about. Is this the guy I need to speak to? It is. Hey, young. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than right, to lie okay. dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I don't think it's a good I might have a better job. job. Funny. Funny is not something yeah, anyone would want to do. do. If you prove to me yeah, you're a clever lad, lad lots, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. Uh, what do you say? And a bath. Look, couldn't I just pay you instead? I'd say you're a fucking ungrateful pup. But if you think you got money to throw around, so be it. You'll pay me the cost and for a whole fortnight of my valuable time. I don't have that much. Then come back when you have. Debts must be paid, or you can still wipe the slate by doing that little job for me. I'm not interested. Farewell. God be with you.
good day That's to you. Right. Where for Actually need to have to a weapon. Quest. Good thief. Optionally screen mode. Get the demands me from get a speed. Speed. Where the fuck is the speed to? Ah, uh, here we go. Any idea, Big? What do you mean? Where did you get a speed from? There's a speed, I see it. What, by the dog? Yeah, well, it's not by the dog on mine, but... You got it. Well, you haven't... buried the parents yet? No, I've done that, Big. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to the miller. Oh, fair enough. You're doing something else, aren't you? You're doing the dirty quest. I am. I refused, because I have honour. There is no honour. <laughs> Follow here. You're going to be some three grave three. robber. Got time for you. I am. You you said to me... D d you actually I shouted shout. at that guy. What was his name? Ish Ish yeah, but it's dishonourable not to pay back your debts. I'm, I'm in a very moral grey area here. You're in a moral grey area, are you? Yeah. <laughs> I can't really carry much either. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, yes. Can I take these? That looks really good. Have to get that at level four. So, did they take my stuff from me? I look like a proper peasant. Please, sir, do you have any more? I'll be very happy once I learn how to read. Why would you want to read? You can learn a lot of good stuff going? very quickly. Jesus you know, I'm course. Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzig Kabila of Voyitz. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship, and what makes you think he'll see you? One man. There anyone? Come on, I'm not some peasant. Oh. I'm Sir Radzig's blacksmith, and I need to speak with him. It's my job to stop you. Now bugger off. I may not look the part, <laughs> but I know about honour and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then, oh, go, go ahead. Through. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Go through, did you? I did. I thought it was no use. But I was wrong! wrong. Go in there. Across that bridge, that's life. died and this bastard has to sub Kunesh. Do you survived? Aren't you observant? Salome. You still owe me. Don't think I've forgotten. I don't owe you. I owe your father. And he's dead. So get out of here. Cheeky fuck. Do you really want to make me angry? Do you really think that's wise? Hey. No, I don't. Yeah! Fine. I owe you. <laughs> what am I supposed to do about it? You think you'll get anything from me? Go in the right way. What I've got. But maybe I could. Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debts, that is. I only have a bow to defend myself. The hell with that. I want my money, and right now. Then, you have yet to decide whether or not that is good. You. you son of a bitch. Oh, why can't I go up this little 
If you like, maybe something could be done. Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debt, <sighs> that is. Fine. All right, then. Start talking. Uh, no. Yeah, no. First, I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. Very well, then. Talk. When we were running from Scalet, I heard something. I don't know who said it. It's a miracle I could even hear it in that chaos. Either way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dovecote. Under a dovecote? And that's it? That's all I know. How many dovecots could there be in Scalet? If you've got the guts to go back there, you're bound to find it. Fine. We'll see. So where's the... Where do I dig? Okay, my guy's constantly drunk. This is not good. <laughs> Why is he always drunk? The bum. Let's talk trade. Okay, now. really annoying. You know, why is my guy getting worse? 2.9. How much money do you reckon she has? Just food. Let's haggle. I'd like to discuss the price. Sure, why not? Satisfied? Oh god, if you drink too much, you can become an alcoholic. Almost. Are we agreed? That's better. Drop it a bit more and we'll call it a deal. Alright, fine. You win. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. Carrots and apples picked today to put a smile on your face. What are you selling? Jesus Christ be praised. Haggle. Can we do something about the price? Sure, why not? Is this enough? We're getting there. Just drop the price a bit more. Very well, I agree. I'm at where it says I have to dig up the body for the ring. I don't know, Big. I said no. I know, I know. But it's just like it won't let me dig anything up. I've got a spade as well. Oh no, that's not the issue. I should probably sell that. I've got everything you need. Day, vegetables, fruits, apples, cucumbers, onions. Come get them. May the Lord watch you. Four point one, you lying bitch. Buried under the gibbet. How do I get under the gibbet? What's a gibbet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> That's right, Pig. What is a gibbet? Something like along here. Like... I think I just went that way then. I should have went completely opposite way. <laughs> oh, lovely stuff. There was no ring. <laughs> you got done over, have you? And you're a thief. You're not an honourable man at all. If I saw you, I knew you were being digging up graves for rings. What would your father think of you? Well, I told you, it's a moral grey area, he'd understand. What well, what's your father? You've got to pay off your debts. No, no, your father would not be okay with this. That was a fool, died fighting. Jesus Christ. What? Have a heart. And then... Is it this way? Butcher. Oh dear god. Went over a cliff. You did? No, I slid down it, luckily. I can't sprint because my guy's drunk. Why are you always drunk? Because the, the effect just keeps filling up. <laughs> it's only started going down. He's like waving along the road. <laughs> His vision's gone all hazy. Honestly, it's like us on a Friday night. <laughs> Can that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. I must speak with Sir Isaac. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the Knights Hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Isaac. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Look out. Now you look out, son. Buddy. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. The Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. God, okay. 
room enough for your men and you here at Rattay, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Pepstein is at your disposal as long as you wish. Popping a young maiden's well cherry. Have another castle at the <laughs> other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hamish. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. I might have to drop some fucking. There's been talk of criminality. Uh, no, I've got to get rid of some of this armor. The situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Wrong Hungarian second, order sure. looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> What concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly. And this one 21 lockpicks. Fuck me. Okay. Ran out of I'm guessing this is going to be a hard chest to open. So he recruited <clears> four <throat> sons that settled in Hungary. And the less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? What the hell? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. What? Henry. <laughs> I thought we had just walked into this uh, after I cutscene. ordered him to remain at Townburg. I'm sorry, sir, but I have to bury my parents. Why can't I speak? Because I'm drunk. Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, well, she was remarkable too. So what type of uh, player were you going to be? I'll tell you in a minute, it's a bit of a cutscene, yeah. Yeah, that's all right, you talk from mine all the time. So, what are you going to do then? I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? Going to walk over this bridge. The Miller's daughter. Teresa. Up this little dirt track. The Miller's daughter save you oh, from the dirt track. Oh, there's a tale to tell your children. I owe her my life. Jump up to here, the and we'll, we'll, we'll walk through the woods. Do -do 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 -do. Without Sir Robard, we'd both do -do -do -do. be dead. Do -do -do. Oh, that's what I call a good Do -do -do. woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, Do -do -do -do. it's a great shame Do -do -do. your parents are buried in unconsecrated yeah. ground. Do -do -do -do. That means purgatory for them. Do -do -do -do. Be quiet, Do -do -do -do. Shh, I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their grave. There's the house going I over the hill. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven. As long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that well, plump house carcass there. of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one well, and someone's ring, where would like I put another. it? So how would we know which were your ordained bones Dogs or here. those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may. Why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. Well, they almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines and a good half Man. of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. Fuck is that? I understand. Yeah. I'd feel oh. the same way. But Hangover. The better part of valor. Great. Dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his back from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage, but you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. <laughs> 
Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your Bruh. orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. <laughs> the capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well. Believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. Go on the street. I'll fight you father, easier. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? So, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Come on. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. True. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's Fuck be that. clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> I got a promotion, big. <laughs> a promotion? Yeah. His training. With what? I'll tell you in a minute. When they're finished. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't. Oh, fuck. Not. I've been promoted to a spearman. In the army. Yeah! yeah. I feel quite hungry. Well. I'm always hungry. But I do have feudalism, I just learned.